Aww, animals. Oh dear. When Japanese male macaques were spotted mounting female sika deer back in January, some passed it off as misdirected mating. But when it became clear females were getting in on some of the action too, one thing's for sure. Macaques really like to do it with deer. The question on everyone's minds though is, why? Adult male macaques apparently don't like their adolescent female counterparts, so the ladies in heat end up turning to another species for satisfaction. They thrust and grind their lady bits on the backs of their stag mates, which only tolerate them because they get groomed in return. That must be some good grooming because the females can get pretty damn excited with some rude ones even stealing someone else's stag. They're also very demanding and have been known to throw massive hissy fits if Bambi doesn't want to give it. Wild Japan, indeed. Keep watching for more animal shenanigans. Gross photo shows why dogs should not eat chocolate. What we are about to show is really, really gross. So if you don't want to see what happens when a dog eats too much chocolate, click away now. This is Sophia, a boxer who made an animal hospital in Virginia look like a scene from The Exorcist after eating too much chocolate. Sophia's problem started last holiday season when she and an unnamed canine partner in crime helped themselves to more than a kilo of chocolate left under the Christmas tree by owner Daisy Roja. Chocolate contains a stimulant called theobramine that is toxic to dogs. It can affect the heart, kidneys, and central nervous system. Dogs who eat too much chocolate can die. At best, they'll suffer symptoms including diarrhea, seizures, and vomiting. The darker the chocolate, the more theobramine it contains. Doses of around 100 milligrams per kilogram of body weight are toxic to dogs. Sophia and the other dog were rushed to an animal hospital for treatment, suffering from vomiting and high heart rates. After chucking up another chocolate fountain, the dogs were fed activated charcoal to stop the toxins from being absorbed and given intravenous fluids. The animal hospital released the pooch puke photo on social media to warn owners not to feed their dogs chocolate this festive season. Sophia and her friends survived death by chocolate and made a full recovery from the incident. Here he is. Monkey chucks crap at kids. While visiting Tiger World in Rockwell, North Carolina last month, two kids got poop thrown at them by a monkey. <sighs> yeah, let's just say it, going bananas. We're not sure why, but the dude who recorded the clip says the primate really dislikes him. Perhaps it's because he was whoosh, monkeying around too much. <laughs> Baboom! It's clear this anthropoid is not a happy chappy. And yes, from here we can tell he's clearly mastered the art of gorilla warfare. <laughs> Following the poop oh. chuck, one of the girls says she hates the place, <laughs> likely referring to the zoo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But just imagine how the monkey feels. He'd probably give his own uncle the bust out of that joint. Uh -oh. Does a bear crap in the woods? Uh, nope. A household in Wyoming got the shock of their lives after a bear wandered into their home and left a nasty little surprise. Max Brighter was having a nice Saturday afternoon nap when his dog suddenly started yapping from another room and wouldn't stop. He went to get the canine, but was instead greeted by a giant furry brown bear staring him down from the kitchen. Brighter locked himself in a nearby bathroom and frantically called everyone else in the house, who yelled and screamed as they barricaded themselves in their rooms. The noise made the bear feel uncomfortable, and it soon broke out of a window and scurried off, but not before depositing two giant turds on the living room floor. Hmm, lovely. The Wyoming Game and Fish Department say they're not going to go after old crappy, unless of course he turns out to be a serial home pooper. Moose falls into family home, then drops a deuce. A Haley, Idaho family has quite the amusing tale to tell after this lovely herbivore came crashing into their lives at the weekend. On Sunday, January 30th, the moose was reportedly walking along when it fell down a three-foot deep window well and into the family's basement. The family created a makeshift barrier with mattresses and a sofa to keep the animal contained. She reportedly remained calm throughout the ordeal, although she did crap a lot. The moose was there for about two hours until the cops arrived. They tried to lead her out, but she charged at them several times. So they wound up knocking her out with a tranquilizer and then took her outside, where she woke up a little confused, but free. Authorities suspect recent snow in the area pushed the moose, as well as other animals, closer to towns and homes. 
In Russia, animals have the right to bear arms. A wild bear turned the tables on a hunter after making off with not one, but two of the man's firearms. The 57-year-old had taken refuge at a remote cabin in Siberia's Irkutsk region and was out getting water when a brown bear snuck into his sanctuary. The animal seemed taken with some hunting rifles and latched onto them. When the man returned, he spotted the bear and quickly ran into the woods, where he hid for several hours. By the time he came back to the cabin, the bear was gone, but so were his Vepra carbine and IZH shotgun. For the next few days, the hunter searched the taiga for his guns, but failed miserably. He finally called the cops who are now investigating the bizarre incident. So far, they found bite marks on a plastic bucket and scratches on some logs at the cabin. No leads on the rifle-stealing bear, though, who's probably out somewhere having fun at getting to be the hunter instead of the hunted. Meanwhile, the actual hunter is facing a fine and could forfeit his right to buy and use guns for a year. All thanks to a gun-crazy bear.